I'm Levi, a creative, adventure seeker, and explorer by heart. A few years ago, I set out on a mission, a mission to find the most unusual, inspired, and unique one night stays in America. And I'm taking you with me. This is Tiny BNB. Let's go. Welcome to Tulum. Welcome to Tulum. Let's check out this beautiful Airbnb. Located in Tulum, Mexico, along the Caribbean coast is where we are at today in the beautiful town, and we are at this very gorgeous Airbnb. Once you arrive to Tulum, for whatever occasion you are, this is a very gorgeous place. It has its own vibe, and you'll drive, and you'll meet your Airbnb. Now, whenever you're driving here, the first thing you'll encounter is a gate, because it is located in a gated community, kind of just outside the Main Strip Town Center, and that is a very nice touch, I think. You're kind of just separated from everything, and it just makes you feel even more safe but you'll drive right in and then you'll meet your Airbnb now as you can tell this Airbnb looks very luxurious there's plants and palm trees there's even a couple cactus in front right here and you just tell it is really cool Airbnb so you walk up to your front door which is absolutely massive of course there's a security system for you to get in and you'll walk right into your grand Airbnb it is very open and bright there's windows everywhere and all the colors and textures from the floor to the walls it's all really neat this is a very interesting floor plan as well, which I think adds to the home. It makes it very fun to be a part of an inn and to experience, I would say. Anyway, the first thing you'll encounter on the right is one of your first guest bedrooms. Now, there's not much happening in the bedrooms. It is just a bed with a window and a couple racks and shelves for clothing. But other than that, it is a nice bedroom and each bedroom has its own AC unit. So crispy cold in here and very hot to loom. So when you walk out on the left side, you have a shelf for some stuff if you wanna lay it down. And then you have your main floor bathroom. Now this bathroom is the smallest one here. So it is just a sink on this side and then the toilet on the other side. And you'll exit out of that. And now you get to your main area in this home, which is so beautiful. You have the stairs on the left with the bamboo shoots right next to it. And I just love having these plants in the home especially these bamboo plants that are huge. You're like 12 or 15 feet tall in this home and they kind of separate the stairs from everything else and it looks so gorgeous. And then on the right side right here, you have your living room. Of course, there's a couch, there's a couple seats, a really cool coffee table right here. And then a perk I think for Tulum is that you have a really nice TV right here that has Netflix and whatever you'd want to watch on there. And then right behind the couch, this is, might be one of my favorite parts of the home, is this huge wall that goes all the way to the second floor. And it's this red stone that they shaped and formed into this wall. It adds great color to this home and a really cool texture. All this living room, it brings in the outdoor inside this home. So it feels really nature -y yet modern. But the design and the decor pieces for all this is really nice and then we'll move along and you get your dining room table it is really large you can fit at least six people and it blends in with all the other decor it's wood and it's kind of just oddly shaped so i like the oddly shaped stuff mixed in with the modern looking home and then we continue along you reach your kitchen area this airbnb offers a full kitchen you have your all this countertop space a huge sink right here and of course they provide a huge jug of purified water because you can't can't drink the tap water in Mexico. And they have all the amenities you would need. They have an espresso machine for your morning coffee, all your cooking utensils and dishes and everything and all the drawers. Of course, the whole shebang, I would say. And it just looks really gorgeous with all the windows right here. And then you reach your fridge. It is a fridge freezer combo. Very nice to have an actual full size fridge in an Airbnb compared to like a little mini fridge. And then behind this door is your washer dryer combo, which is a really nice touch for an Airbnb because sometimes you got to do some laundry. So that is the main level floor. Now we'll go back onto the stairs up to the second level. This is one of my favorite parts of the home as well. These stone steps that lead all the way up to the second floor, of course, with the bamboo and the greenery. It looks really gorgeous. Now there's no handrail here, which is kind of a neat thing. I don't know if that's a legality thing here in Mexico. I know it would be in the United States. So 
just keep that in mind. I kind of like it though, it looks really cool. And you just walk up the stone steps and you reach your really interesting upstairs, I would say. The roof up here is all glass, so you don't even have to turn on any lights in here unless it's night. It just floods in a lot of light up here. And there's this also this huge like walkway platform bridge, I would say, that leads to your master bedroom, but we'll get to that in a second. The first door on the right is your upstairs bathroom, which is a really nice bathroom. It also has the windows up on the roof, so it leaks in this really hard light mixed with the shadow and it just leaves these light beams in this bathroom and it looks gorgeous and of course you got your vanity it is a stone vanity that just fits in with the vibe of this home and then your toilet and then of course your huge concrete shower with the waterfall faucet up above and this is just a really beautiful bathroom it's very minimal but they did the minimal correctly I would say and we exit out of that and you reach your second guest bedroom up here very similar to the one downstairs is just a bed with some windows and some shelves and hangers for your clothes there's also an AC unit in here as well for you and then now we'll exit that and you reach your master bedroom it's kind of like a grand entrance I would say because it's the bridge that's over the living room into your master bedroom you open the beautiful door and you have your sleeping quarters you have your bed right here that faces your backyard with these huge slides doors there's nice stands on each side with these hanging lights and then you have your bathroom over here on the other side with a stone bathtub I would say this is also one of my favorite parts of this home the stone bathtub is huge and beautiful and right under the window and then you have your dual vanity with the stone top again and then the last thing in this bedroom is this whole wall for your clothes or luggage or whatever, you can hang stuff, you can store your stuff here. And this is your master bedroom. It is super gorgeous, especially with this whole wall of window that leads out to your patio that overlooks your backyard. This is a great place to have some coffee or to wake up and just walk outside and enjoy all the scenery that your backyard has. There's also a screen on the sliding door, of course, if you just want to let the air flow in. But if not, there's also an AC unit in here as well for you. Now, I think the best part of this home is your backyard area. So let's just take a step down and we'll walk out these sliding doors again on the bottom floor and you reach your backyard. It is very beautiful. A secluded backyard, so there's walls on all the sides and with all the greenery and plants that surround it, it just blocks in anybody else from being able to see you. And it just feels like your own little tropical paradise, I would say. There's seats right here if you wanna come down here and drink your coffee or have breakfast down here. And then you have your amazing swimming pool. I would say it's a little bit bigger than a plunge pool. I would consider it a swimming pool. And there is even a waterfall on this side of the swimming pool and this is a gorgeous touch to this home and of course there's lawn chairs on this side and just all the greenery around it I can't get over all the greenery and tropicalness I would say of this backyard you know, this backyard is my favorite part of the home now on to the next Airbnb Mexico. I'm here on my honeymoon, but I just wanted to show you guys what this Airbnb offers in Tulum, and I think you guys might enjoy it. It is a hotel, but they list their rooms as Airbnb. This is on the beach, so whenever you arrive to your Airbnb, you'll notice that Tulum is definitely a vibe in itself. If you haven't looked into Tulum, I would suggest it because the vibe of Tulum, definitely a boho vibe and relaxed tropical jungle vibe, which is what I was looking for on this trip, so I'm glad I came. But whenever you arrive to your Airbnb, you'll notice that this whole area, this whole kind of resort, but it's not a resort, it's a whole hotel, private beachfront area, is all for you to use, and it's really cool. So whenever you walk on the property of this hotel, 
uh, you'll see there's a lot to offer. So we'll just start on the beach. Of course, it's own private for only this area and the water's blue, there's lots of sand, lots of things to enjoy on the beach. The sun rises on the beach, so it's really nice to come out here in the mornings and enjoy the sunrise overlooking the sun coming out of the ocean. It's a really cool experience. Now, as we head along towards our Airbnb, you'll encounter some beds out here to lay out on the beach. You'll encounter some chairs and cabanas. It's really nice to enjoy your time or read or eat. There is a restaurant here right next to your Airbnb on this property. So whenever you want food, you can get that and you can just come out here and enjoy yourself. And as we continue walking up the steps and everything, there's just these rows of beds and chairs, which is really nice to sit at and enjoy your time and just relax out in the sun. And then you'll make it up on the main deck area, which has this infinity pool, which is my favorite thing here. Uh, the water is, of course, super warm and it overlooks the ocean. And it has this little mini pool right next to it. And then there's hammocks everywhere. There's palm trees. Uh, there's coconuts and there's just more seating options. There's uh, booths, there's tables, there's this bar if you want to come out here and work. Just lots of options out here to really enjoy yourself and the vibe and aesthetic of it is all really cool. It's all this wood and rope and definitely a tropical ocean vibe here. Now we'll make it into my room that I'm staying in. Pretty small so probably be pretty quick whenever you walk inside. You'll notice it's just very minimal and to the point all along the walls right here is a lot of seating under these windows and over here on the right you'll have your king size bed with the netting all around it in case I guess there's bugs in here or anything somehow from all the wind if you decide to keep the windows open and let the ocean breeze come in here there's just a net around the bed to have which is nice and behind the bed there's more storage and as we continue along by the door you have your little table right here if you need to set anything or do anything in here and as we continue along on this right side you have more storage options to hang clothes or put all your luggage or put clothes or whatever you have right here and then you reach your bathroom area which on the left right here you have a full vanity it looks really cool i love the vibe in here it's definitely the tropical bohemian vibe with the concrete vanity and the lights and all the wood in here the bamboo and then you have your toilet here on the right side and then your shower here on the left side with more windows just surrounding all of it now all the rooms face the ocean in this hotel area so if you want a beachfront airbnb room in this area i would suggest this one but overall i thought this experience was super cool especially this airbnb setup and i want to show you guys briefly what it was like now some cool things to do in tulum if you're ever here definitely check out the cenotes And one of the places I suggest that eating would be Posada Margarita. It's an Italian place right along the beach. Very beautiful. Overall, very, very good. So, that is your whole Airbnb. What do you think? 